What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Now today we are currently sitting at 44-42 trophies right now. A little bit high, not really at my personal best just yet. My personal best is at around 46-38. However, I haven't really been doing that well since this new meta came out. As you all know, there's been a recent balance change in Clash Royale that I'm not too big of a fan of. I hated a lot of the nerfs that happened. Of course, the Elite Barbs didn't need nerf, I'm not too worried about that. However, they did nerf a lot of cards that shouldn't have been nerfed, such as the Zap, the Log, and that means that these Zap Bait decks are going to be very strong in this new meta. I'm not a big fan of playing against Zap Bait decks, however, I do have to use one now that they are the only deck that can win in this new meta. So here is one of the most popular Bait decks in the game right now. We've got the Princess, the Log, Skeleton Army, and Minion Horde, followed by the Furnace, Goblin Barrel, Mirror, and Fireball. So a lot of different cards here, as you can tell this is a really solid Zap Bait deck. You have the Princess, Goblin Barrel, Fire Spirits from the Furnace, Minion Horde, and Skeletons that are all susceptible to the Fireball, uh, Log, arrow zap anything like that and more than likely somebody isn't carrying more than two spells in one deck and then of course you do have the mirror for whenever you want to just mirror goblin barrel someone and troll the crap out of them it's really annoying but it does get the job done and it has done quite well for me so far if we go over to my attack log, I will show you guys when I started using it. Somebody beat me using this deck in a grand challenge right here. Uh, no, not right here. Right here. Lord Sub from A List Peru 2 used the same deck against me in a grand challenge. Ended up beating me only 1 to 0. However, it was a really annoying deck to play against. So I went ahead and tried it out for myself. Went up against somebody using a Sparky, Valkyrie, Wizard, and Witch combo, as well as a Fireball in there too. He had a bunch of splash damage units, so obviously that battle didn't go so well and I ended up losing that one. However, I did win the next four or five battles in a row after this draw right here one two three four battles in a row three of them actually against a royal giant and as you all know i hate the royal giant so i'm actually a fan of this deck considering that i can consistently beat royal giant decks and then right here we ended up going against a regular giant deck and we ended up beating him too so we're gonna go out here into one or two friendly battles and if those don't go too well maybe we'll jump into a grand challenge instead but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the first battle <sighs> All right, here we go. Raliko from Barcos EP. Uh, I just took a quick little break in between that little cut right there. Went downstairs, ate some pizza. So I'm kind of fueled up, ready to go right now. So maybe they'll give us some good luck in taking down Raliko right here. And uh, I don't have my fireball ready, unfortunately. But those fire spears right there will do a decent amount of damage to both the barbarians and take out the minions. However, I placed that a little bit too close and the barbs are actually going to take out my furnace. Not too big of a deal right there. One barb did get off a shot on my tower. I went ahead and mirrored a furnace right there and threw a goblin rail over at his left lane tower. To distract this P.E.K.K.A, I will drop down a skeleton army. Let's just hope that he doesn't have a zap. However, he does have a wizard, which is even worse. Let's get our fireball ready to finish off the P.E.K.K.A and do some damage to the wizard as well. Looks like they're all through with the skeleton army, so down goes the fireball, finishing off that P.E.K.K.A and the wizard while it's at it. In the meantime, over on the left side, we have done a lot of damage to that tower with our um, goblin barrel, and I believe some of those fire spirits from the furnace doing a little bit of ship damage. Try to defend some of those Libra barons right there with my furnace. We're gonna have to mirror another furnace to finish off the exact same push he sent at the start of the battle. Battle. Minions and barbs are both going to get taken out by that furnace and those minions. Okay, now let's go ahead and send in another goblin barrel over down his left lane since he already wasted those arrows. They will actually go ahead and do no damage at all since he had a fireball ready as well. And that was actually a good thing for us because that was not a positive elixir trade. Four versus three, and now he has to drop down a cannon in the middle of nowhere to finish off our princess. So right now that tower is about gone, and this guy has just left the match. I think he gave up, so let's go ahead and send down a skeleton army, a mirrored skeleton army, and a minion horde. This this right here should do the trick. I'm not exactly sure what else would. Let's see, they used to got that tower right there. Now they're making their way all the way towards that king tower. Throwing a goblin barrel and a fireball right here. That's going to be a good game for this guy. This really annoying zap bait deck actually made him rage quit. And there is our first victory of the video. So three crowns against Raluco. I'm sorry. I feel bad for him. I know I've definitely rage quit against a zap bait deck before. Kind of annoying, but I'm definitely not going to turn down that victory right there. So we are now one crown away from our crown chest and one battle away from 4,500 trophies. So let's go back out and do another live battle and see if we can do the trick. Okay, so here we go up against Abi Sai from Top Tico's at 4473. We're gonna start off by dropping down my princess right at the bridge. And I'm also gonna go ahead and drop down my minion horde to counter these minions. They wouldn't have done too much damage to my tower, however, I wanted to keep them off of it for as long as possible. Don't want any damage done over there just yet, so I will go ahead and drop that minion horde. It does get zapped as it crosses the bridge though and won't even touch that tower. And he's gonna go ahead and drop down a level 12 rogue giant. Let's get down a skeleton army right here and a goblin barrel over there at that left lane tower. He won't do anything at all to counter that skeleton army until the royal giant is already taken out he drops down that ice golem and the mega minion finished off that goblin barrel so down goes a furnace to finish off that mega minion and he has some elite barbarians 
So let's go ahead and drop down a fireball right there. One elite barb actually goes for our tower, and the other one is doing some damage to our furnace. That elite barb actually just dropped our tower down to 1748. He's throwing an angry emoji, probably because this deck is really annoying. However, he does still have the lead right now. Uh, I do have a princess on the bridge though, and some fire spirits in there, which will get zapped away by the electro wizard. Let's go ahead and drop down a skeleton army to counter him, and another goblin barrel down his left lane. So goblin barrel is going to hit the tower. Will he counter it? And he does counter it with a high enough zap spell to actually take it out completely. So down goes a furnace to finish off the minions. I wanted to mirror another goblin barrel over there on that tower. However, I did have to counter those minions because so they didn't do too much damage. And now these towers are about the same hit points. And down goes a royal giant to snipe away at my furnace from across the river. So I went ahead and dropped down my minion horde to finish off him. And now they're running towards that tower, but then they just got fireballed. I'm not too sure if this guy has arrows or not. I'm going to go ahead and risk it anyway and mirror a minion horde on the bridge with no tanks whatsoever. He will go ahead and drop down an ice golem and that electro wizard. I forgot he had both of those troops right there. Skeleton army on top of that electro wizard probably wasn't the best idea considering the ice golem was right next to him. However, it worked out just fine and he did didn't touch our tower. But now he has a huge push coming in here. Let's go ahead and drop down a furnace and a fireball to finish off the elite barbs. However, they both do a little bit of damage to my tower and actually finish off my princess as well. Minions on the royal giant and the ice golem right there. Down goes the zap to finish off my minions. After, of course, the ice golem does a little bit of damage. Skeleton army to finish off the royal giant. I'm also going to go ahead and launch a goblin barrel back there at his tower. He went ahead and dropped down that electro wizard to counter. And the princess just got taken out by it as well. And down goes some more elite barbarians to counter. I'm going to drop down the furnace and another fireball. Definitely not a positive blister trade, but but it did do the trick and now he has a level 12 royal giant shooting my tower right here which is about to go down 666 hit points on that tower illuminati confirmed we're in overtime that last shot is going to finish the battle and he will take the victory so good game to that guy dropping us down to 44 44 trophies not exactly too sure how to feel about that that was my first loss against the rogue giant with this deck even though it was a level 12 rogue giant i'm not exactly too sure what happened i did beat three of those in a row earlier maybe it was just because he had a little bit more splash damage in his deck he did have an ice golem zap fireball and the electro wizard did a lot of damage to my towers and ended up taking the victory unfortunately my goblin barrel is only a level 5 Five spawning level 10 goblins it is really close to a level 6 goblin barrel spawning level 11 goblins those will do a lot better against level 11 zaps but right now a level 11 zap can actually take out the entire goblin barrel so it doesn't do too well out in regular matchmaking battles instead we're gonna go out into a grand challenge to finish off the video considering the cards are gonna be tournament standard they won't be able to zap it out of the way and I have that mirror just in case they have a log so to finish off the video let's go ahead and see what this deck can do in a grand challenge battle now this is going to be my first time using this deck in a grand challenge I did actually find this deck through a grand challenge somebody used it against me and ended up beating my golem graveyard deck so here we are out into a grand challenge trying it out for ourselves however it looks like this guy has the exact same deck so far, I think he used a log and a furnace, and there's his goblin barrel as well. And his goblin barrel is actually going to do a decent amount of damage to my tower over here. However, I think he already used his log, so down goes a mirrored goblin barrel and a skeleton army to counter his mirrored goblin barrel. Fortunately, my skeleton army counters his, but he will go ahead and drop down the exact same counter to my goblin barrels. And it looks like we are basically using the exact same deck right here. Not too surprising though, considering this is an extremely popular zap bait deck, one of the most popular in the game actually. So let's go ahead and drop down a princess on the bridge, add some fire spirits across there as well. He's going to go ahead encounter with a furnace which will go ahead and take out my princess anyway down goes another furnace right here he's gonna go ahead and waste his log so now i can drop down a goblin barrel which i was going to do instead i'm gonna go ahead and waste my log on his princess and those fire spirits down goes my goblin barrel as he throws down his I'm gonna counter that with a skeleton army will he counter mine he's not going to counter mine in time the skeleton army was there way too late and my goblins dropped that tower to 1189 my skeleton army finishes off his and will take the shots of those fire spirits but the fireball finishes off my furnace so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off his furnace as well with my fire Ball. Now this really sucks for me because this guy is using the exact same deck and I'm just now learning how to play this deck. This guy's most likely pretty experienced with this deck considering he's using the exact same one. So let's go ahead and counter that goblin barrel right there with my skeleton army and launch over a goblin barrel of my own. Skeleton army did do the trick. Will he throw down another goblin barrel? He's not going to go ahead and do that. He's actually going to counter my goblin barrel with that skeleton army. So let's mirror the goblin barrel and send a fireball on top of that furnace right there. Will it hit anything else? He's not going to drop anything, but the goblins do go ahead and finish off that tower. So princess in the back, 36 seconds left. The king tower is activated. Not exactly sure how much more damage I could do over there. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and defend as hard as I can right here. Log is going to try to finish off those skeletons, but actually the fire spirits from the furnace did the trick themselves. Going to go ahead and lock down that princess. 20 more seconds to hold down the fort. And I think we might actually win this battle. Those fire spirits just finished off that princess. That was a terrible time to drop them. My minion 
Horde finished off his furnace. Down goes a princess and another furnace since he wanted to fireball that one. Mirror the furnace because why not? Four seconds left. He's not going to take my tower. Even the Goblin Barrel wouldn't have done the tricks out of my log ready. Good game to this guy, but there is the one crown victory. So there we have it. It actually worked in a grand challenge. Kind of curious to see how it does against a real deck and not the exact same deck. He was, in fact, actually using the exact same deck as me. So there we go. Somehow I outplayed him and managed to take that victory. Still not too sure how I feel about this deck. Maybe I'll do better with it when I can get my Goblin Barrel to level 6 and my Minion Horde to level 12. But so far, it does pretty well countering the Royal Giant. So far, I'm 3-4 and four with it, I believe, against the Royal Giant. The first loss against the Royal Giant in today's video, actually. So as long as it can counter the Royal Giant consistently, I'll be fine with this deck. Kind of have to suck it up now that the Graveyard Golem deck doesn't work too well anymore. Anyway, I still strongly dislike this meta, but it is what it is, and I gotta use this deck to win. However, it is a really popular Zap Bay deck, so I'll most likely keep running into people using the exact same one. If you guys are using this deck or have used it in the past, let me know down below, and let me know what deck you're using in this current meta, because even though this one does do pretty well, I haven't found one that I really actually like yet. Anyway, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more Clash Royale content. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.